Welcome back to episode two. We're gonna jump right back into it. All right, episode two two. Yep. What you got? We got a boomstick. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! Hey, look at that. What is it? Looks like a bomber. Can you zoom in? Oh yeah, definitely a B-29. That's good, right? Uh, our kittens good. Our miniature horse is good. Brad. Hey. Kittens are not good. good. Don't I get a little end zone <laughs> dance? Watch me. Oh, yeah. Puppies are good. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what the fuck is he doing, so, dude? Is he trying to do the shoot? <laughs> so, let me get Black Boy JB to show you how to do this. To carry nuclear warheads and they were just like, so dope. Oh, so dope. Oh, my God. You have a nerd boner? <laughs> nerd boner, you know what? Cliff, we found a plane. Yeah? Yeah, it looks like World War II. We are ready to die. World War Three, get it right. Wow. We should call this in to Port Authority. They're recruiting, boys. I know. Are you sure you don't want to do this the right way? Uh, you know what? Actually, I'm gonna say nothing. Guys, no one knows, no one cares, no harm, no foul. <laughs> Guys, look, I think we gotta listen to our experienced, beautiful, smart, and beautiful captain here. She said beautiful twice. She's all like, I'll watch you inside me right now. She's right, not oh, yeah. Indeed. I mean, Make a scream. But that's like a coincidence. Oh, fuck her till she comes. Yes. Yep. Look, we paid for this guy generously, we're diving. The client. Are you feeling a little seasick? I just can't wait to be the first one down there. <laughs> wait, Alex, I thought we were gonna. Why is it only showing your mouth? Ew. <laughs> okay, look, Brad, the wreck's not going anywhere. Whatever, man. Predictable. Oh. Damn. Are you, are you gonna go pout now, you little bitch? <laughs> <laughs> we should be ready to get you guys in the water in a few. I'll set up the tanks. The boys will do the final checks. Yes. Take a look at the camera. See if you can find anything useful. Right out. Don't look at your you sister's really nudes. <laughs> Imagine. Okay. Hey. I'm to the rainer. Wait a minute. You're gonna flirt. Hi, Flissy Poo. <laughs> oh, Captain, my Captain. <clears throat> you know, we have rules out here for a reason. You guys gotta respect that. At least you showed me a little respect. That's a boomstick. Even if you're the only one in the group. Hey, I like it when you're strict. And sometimes I just want to be kept in line, you know what I'm saying? I don't mind a little submission now and then. Is there no way for you to turn that off? Turn what off? That thing where you have to hit on me like every- <laughs> Why? What did I'm you say? The, um... I like to be kept in line. Coil the ropes, scrape some barnacles. I'm good. Totally good. These rules are all pretty basic stuff. How much experience do you have with these kind of dives? I'm experienced, baby. Oh, I got experience. In all the right places, if you catch me. Yeah. <laughs> I just stood there for like a <laughs> solid 30 seconds. Huh? Just <laughs> listening. For all you know, this could be a war grave. Disturbing it would be illegal and immoral. Why am I even talking to you about this dive? Clearly, you have other things on your mind. <laughs> Dude, I'm gonna be like All thinking about getting wet. All I'm thinking about is getting wet. <laughs> okay. 
Because, you know, when I get that dive suit on, it's going to get hot in there. Sweaty. Uh, you know, oh, my you God. Go take a stroll. Come up with some better jokes. Hopefully they can still make out. Oh, yeah. Hi. Hi. <laughs> hey. Hi. Hey, Brad, how's it going? If you need a moderator, I'm here to help. My fee is also moderate. We're good, middleman. Oh, what? And so what's your MO? How do you guys get through family spats? Because Sis and I just kind of yell at each other until we run out of insults, and then I get the silent treatment until I can come up with the zinger, and then she's all smiles, and she's all forgiving and cute again. That's our routine. What about you guys? We avoid confrontation and pout, and we basically all have ulcers. Sure. So yeah, thanks for checking in. Jeez, you didn't have to be a, a dick, Brad. What's <laughs> up your ass? Every time I take a group of you people out, it's the same thing. No regard for anyone else's customs. These rules are all pretty basic stuff. How much experience do you have with these kind of dives? I have a lot of experience, boo boo. Locker? She got inside of you. Interesting. What's this now? So this game is like um Future Become Humans, similar to it. Or similar game style. Or whatever it is. Okay. Oh what? Fuck is this? The game the game plane is similar to Detroit Become Human or other, oh, no. other games? No, it's more like a, a until dawn. Oh. Yeah. But still. Don't do anything stupid that'll get my ass in But the alt is the same though. You press the button, you move your character around. Oh. You choose your own the same. Yeah, no. He, 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 it's more. However, you tell. Your story and the way that you play it, there could be multiple end things to it. I think this might be bogus. She's five eight, one hundred twenty pounds. I would plow her. <laughs> okay, so this is the rebreather. Way cooler than a regular scuba setup. It takes all that CO2 that you'd normally just exhale into the water, and instead, it gets totally reused. Then it reduces decompression time on your way up. State of the art. Okay, O2 check done. Beaver, you gotta check your O2 first. Looking good, Jay. I'd like to take you underwater. Hey, that's my sis you're talking about. You know <laughs> okay, you little clown fishes. I'm gonna go see what Fliss is up to. You behave, Connie. Boomstick. Why is everything going all over the place? I can't see shit right now. Why is this weird? What the fuck? Wait, what? There's like four different options, and the fucking arrow's shaking like five different ways on my screen. <laughs> I don't know. Come on. Oh, it, it was you. I know, I was ready. Oh. I don't know what to fucking do. To feel such a deep <laughs> Just do one of them. Like right off I can't tell what the fuck any one of them say. You know? What is it with those guys? They've got a whole ocean waiting for them and they're still on deck. I'll shoot them overboard. Why hey, is it still on the screen? Let's, Let's get diving. Oh. Hello? <laughs> What's going on? 
Bro. What? What? <laughs> and all I can do is look around in the fucking background. What? What is going on with this fucking game, dude? You wanna come get like, some with me? No. Synergy. All right. You know. What I wanna s guys? save. We've got a whole ocean waiting for them, and they're still on deck. I'll shoot them overboard. Bitch, hey, it's only like ten dollars or so. Fuck out of here. Yeah, well, I'm saving. I'm free penny. I can. Oh my god, shut up, you little Jew. <laughs> well, I mean, if I want to go to Disney... For what? For... Uh, for the fucking Star... Dude, it's going to be gone by the time you get enough. No, it won't. Yeah, it will. Oh. Yeah, it will. Been there... For... Years. Nope. They just added it. They just added C3P3O. C <laughs> Double PO. Double PP. PP. PP3O. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, hi, Mark. Hey, a souvenir would be cool. It's not like one tiny little thing would hurt anybody. I won't tell if you won't. <laughs> not like we can scan the wreck every night at sundown. There. What if they do? That's it. That's gotta be it. <coughs> way bigger than I thought. Yeah. It's pretty intact, too. This is a fucking remarkable find. Let's swim around a little and find a way in. Who's at the door? I am. The turret. We can get in through there. Show me the girl. Well, I, I'll, show you, I'll show you my girl. <laughs> Where do you want to eat tonight, Anthony? Uh, go home. And eat. You can eat. I'm not eating. Dangerous. Uh, ladies first. Ladies first. Just take a second to say, "Holy shit, Alex, we did it!" I mean, can you believe it? Remarkable find. <laughs> Devil in the deep. Oh. oh, boy. Can I go for it right now? Leave it. You don't have to take care of get in there. Not worth it. That pipe's pretty tight. What if you get stuck without your rebreather? Fuck. Um. Live a little, bitch. Don't be such a gonad. I'll be fine. Gonad? Seriously? What the hell did you just oh, do? Yeah. I got an What's achievement. Happening? Yeah. <laughs> what did you do? I I, I don't r really know. I was fucking flirting with Conrad, and then I, I yeah, I got a fucking trophy. I don't know what I did, but okay. <laughs> uh. Oh, you fucking squid. You found one? Oh, yeah! That was when I killed uh, Conrad the first time. Oh my god. <laughs> you do something stupid down here? That's it. One chance. You get that? I know what I'm doing, okay? I don't need a lifeguard. 
It says it was a rescue plane launched from a U.S. base. They were on their way to help out a ship. Oh. Found a bullet again. Bullet holes all down the fuselage. Brad's gonna flip when he sees this. He's gonna get another nerd boner. Oh no. <laughs> Check it out. They reconfigured the bomb rack to hold lifeboats. Interesting. One of the rescue boats is missing. Think they were using it? Let's see what else we can find. Uh... Good God. Hi, Skippy the Skeleton. It's his wife. Wow. It's his wifey guy. Yeah. I'm gonna look at this guy. Sarah the it's Skeleton guy. and Skippy the Skeleton. It's his guy. Shh. It's a wife guy. Uh, it's okay. Wife. Let's check it out. Why does she drop it after that? Right. Oh, hi, Mark. <laughs> oh, my God. <gasps> <gasps> Fuck! It got you again? God! Why? Why? I got you again. Why? Yeah. Hurt my leg this time. Ow. <laughs> Easy now. This stuff's been down here a long time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where's my heart at, dude? Jesus Christ. Pull it. Call it, Julia, you fucking weak bitch. <laughs> Don't touch anything else, please. <sighs> this shit has my heart racing. Alright. Come on, Alex. Let's go. Buddy. Nothing else to explore here. Ah, uh, my sausage hurts. <laughs> <laughs> you beat it three times again today? No, I was out of work. Oh. Julia, shut up. Not interested in us. Let's go. Hold on. Uh, oh, okay. Thought this was the right time, but then didn't know if it was the right time. But I guess no time's the right time. I, I, I don't guess. Oh. I know you can't tell because we're underwater, but I'm on my knees right now. Uh huh. Julia. Will you marry me? You're shitting me, right? What? <laughs> like there's a hidden camera down here or something? Uh... <sighs> okay, come on guys, the gig is up! Julia, I'm serious. Alex, wow. What a goddamn story. How's it end? Yes! Yes! I'll marry the shit out of you! <laughs> oh, <laughs> 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 
<laughs> Fliss is like, are you trying to flirt with me? And the cataracts like, cataracts are like, is it in here? Is it <laughs> working? Like, <laughs> oh, bro, yeah. you savage. Call him Young Dagger Dick. We gotta decompress here. Jesus, Conrad. Wait, we have to decompress. Yeah, okay. Decompress, right. Oh my god, this is taking too long. This is torture. Just a few more seconds. Okay, now, go, go. Bang. Yeah, bang, yeah. bang on the black ship. Oh, all right. What the hell happened? It's cool, man. Everything's all right now. The hell? There was a little uh, mishap with the barbecue. Jesus, looked like the whole boat was lit up. What was up with that other boat? These fishing guys came by and ran into the dive line. Whatever. Who cares, right? What I want to know is, what'd you guys find? Well, we found the plane, and it is huge, full of cool stuff. Oh my god, you guys, can you all just shut up for like one second? <laughs> Holy shit! Dude, bro, congrats! Nicely done. Come up and let's celebrate. Yeah, let's celebrate with Conrad. <laughs> Balls deep inside me. <laughs> <laughs> hey. You're getting to know these intrepid adventurers then. Alex and his little brother Brad trying to swim with the big fish. Both seem out of their depth. And Julia, the love of Alex's life, and he the love of hers. What about Conrad, a bold fellow, you might say? Or maybe you'd say arrogant. And then there's Captain Fliss, strong, forthright, stubborn. Do I detect a spark between her and Conrad? Let me reassure you. You help them to make some decisions they'll value later on. You're doing well. Thanks. Let's go, baby. Yeah, yeah. So we're going to run it for 40 minutes since we accidentally got on the other save. Okay. Because we got to edit out some of that other shit. So. Yeah. So, we're like 10 seconds out of the jaws of certain death. Well, certain, I mean, that's relevant. And this meatball... Meatball? This meatball pulls a ring out of God knows where. Yeah, where did you buy the ring? A lady never tells. Well, needless to say, this lady was impressed. <laughs> well played there, man, no? Wasn't Conrad gonna get us some more beers after he helped Fliss? Maybe he decided, hey, I'll drink some, and then he got drunk. And since he was drunk, he forgot to bring it to us. Actually, he drinking, what he's doing he is he's piping her. He's piping. Yeah, I've been studying it. I'll go look for him. okay? He's sticking his boomstick in her cave. So, how does it feel to soon be known as the Mr. Julia Smith? I mean, I didn't say I want to keep my name. Honestly? I wasn't sure how it would be. <laughs> Imagine! Have a nice ring. So, you want me to keep I money on you? I will. Until you. Eventually. <laughs> Say so. Now you're speaking my language. I'm taking lessons. Yeah, I can't wait for us to plan everything together. I was so worried you might say no. I like how I'm just being creepy and standing there. 
<laughs> of course I was gonna say yes, you dimwit. No one sees you, are you invisible, Donnie? No. So you said yes, I could see our whole future rolling out ahead of us. I love you, Alex. Aww. <laughs> Where did everyone go? There was much celebration to be had. Yes. There's much celebration to be had. Hey, you seen my brother? Or Fliss? Uh, no, I got distracted. Let's go get him. Sure. Oh, hi. Oh. That's hot. What are you saying? <laughs> saying this time? You'll see. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> nope. <laughs> so sorry to interrupt your seven seconds in heaven. Oh yeah, the beers. I was just getting them now. Yeah. Looks right. like it. <laughs> right. Now that everybody's here, let's take a look at the navigator's pad we found. Maybe we can figure out why the plane was out here. Where'd you put it? It's in your case. Okay, I'll go get it. Hey. Uh. Hey, Conrad, you like this ass? Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> can have a threesome. Oh, that's his sister, man. Oh, well, we threw it back in the hallway. Wow. I have to ask it to you. Popping the question on the bottom of the ocean like that is pretty romantic. <coughs> when you said you had to think about that school, is this what you were talking about? I'm sorry, I got to my the fuck was that, E.T.? <laughs> God, stop. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking corny ass nigga. <laughs> Alright. So, we're going again tomorrow? Uh, yeah. Alright, I'll, I'll be a bit online later. Right. What do you mean? I gotta take my brother to his Taekwondo class. Man, tell his ass to walk. So awesome. I'm just kidding. Okay. <laughs> See you later. Alrighty, bro. Bye bye. Hey, almost time for barbecuing. Got the pad yet? Uh, yeah, oh, no, dude. not yet. I got distracted. Got it. Let's go up. <laughs> <laughs> what? Come here, you fixer. <laughs> Dude, fucking, so Conrad asked Brad if he had a girlfriend, right? Mm -hmm. And I said no, right? Yeah. And fucking Conrad, Conrad is like, he said something like, it's alright, man. Fucking, it's, it's really not sh strong on everybody type thing, right? And then, and then right, he, he, he said, 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 I came Full well, sprint out of, uh, 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 out of my mom. Them? And then Phyllis is like, ew. You get It takes a couple hours if the weather stays steady. Oh my fucking god, dude. You're so dumb. I know. It was a rescue plane. Yeah. But I mean, you get gotta love the uh, dumbass character. Sure. I found one lodged in the fuselage. You gotta love the asshole character and the dumb one. Excuse me. I told you to leave everything down there alone. Oh come on, we've been through this already. I'm not talking about the law. Don't put your neck up like that, dude. And what? Superstition. Is that it? Really? The dead don't sleep well in these waters. May sound silly enough to you all, but I was raised on this shit, and it sticks. You're right. We should have been more careful. That's not me, I'm sorry. 
Okay, maybe. I don't know you. Should have never gone down to that plane in the first place. It's bad luck. You think you can scavenge down there and it makes no difference, but every single thing you bring back has an essence. It's like a ghost you invite to the surface. Here we go. Huh. I never thought about it like that. He never <laughs> thought about much of anything. Well, maybe <laughs> I never heard about such cool ghost stories. They're not cool ghost stories. Not like for fun. People drown in these waters and you have to respect their resting place. Damn straight. Fred, you got a fun ghost story, right? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I heard a story. It happened right around here, too. Let's hear it. We could all use a good show. Chubby. <laughs> Let's hear it. I bet you can spin a good yarn. It's kind of messed up, actually. Okay. Scare away, little bro. Okay. Oh my god. Here goes. This story is true. It had happened right near here, in an old lighthouse. Classic setup. Wait. True story? Where'd you hear this? Uh. Here you go. Ah, well. Down by the dockside, I found an ancient old man, skin like a leather book, eye patch, wooden leg, the whole nine yards. And for a dollar, he told me his secrets. Okay, here we go. The lighthouse stood atop an atoll, isolated from the rest of the world, a lone beacon in the night, a sailor's respite. The lighthouse keeper would hear the waves pounding the rocky shore. One misty morning, he comes upon a woman covered in blood. She's stumbling down the beach. He hurries to her aid, and she falls into his arms, sobbing. As he hurries her back to the lighthouse, he asks where she's from. He doesn't waste any time. It's moving. God. <laughs> He's so dumb! The woman answers. I live here, in the lighthouse. My parents are upstairs right now. Twist. Of course, the lighthouse keeper says, that isn't so. Of course, he's lived there alone for years. And the woman becomes hysterical, and his sister parents are upstairs. So... They go to the top of the lighthouse, and there, splayed out on the floor, is a man and a woman brutally murdered with an axe. Always an axe. I mean, do people even use axes anymore? Yeah. I'm just reporting the facts, cliches and all. Chopped up into little tiny giblets with an axe. <laughs> you know, sometimes you have to embellish the facts a little to get at the deeper truth. It's okay. Okay, so who did it? What happens if I don't say anything? Huh? I suspect it was the woman's maniac brother did the deed. Ah, oh, great. Blame the brother. So the lighthouse keeper creeps over to the closet, opens the door, and sure enough, there's a man inside. But he's cut his own throat. Horrified. He looks closer to see the dead man's face in the dark. Closer. Closer. And he sees. It's his own face. And then its eyes bulge out and screams. Super twist. Nice. <laughs> nice one, Squire. Ah. <laughs> You have me going. Pretty cool. Heavy on the cheese there, corn dog. <laughs> the fuck does what? that mean? <laughs> yeah, what? You should all turn in. There's some weather hitting our way. Uh -uh. Is he on no, the cheese the there, corn dog? One more beer before hitting the hay. This isn't your dorm room, Conrad. Standard issue regulatory institutional protocol subdivision 1099. Uh-huh. What? Where'd you read that? <laughs> this isn't Ohio <laughs> State, buddy. Here under every circumstance. I'm just following orders, man. I'm into this website. <laughs> and four good buddy. And I'm out. Alright, that's it for episode numero dos. See you in number three.